MMA Rants and Raves, UFC 118, Randy the Natural Kotor versus James Tony. Now guys, this is not a definite fight. It's a fight supposedly in the works, and it's rumored to happen. Randy the Natural Kotor has shown that he is interested in taking this fight, and Tony made some kind of comments that he could knock out Kotor, and he wants to take on Brock Lesnar, so his comments, of course, the way this guy uh, handles himself, the way he talks to the media, he wants to face anybody and everybody. So, if this fight happens, let's talk about it. Let's talk about James Tony for a second. There's no question, the guy is a legendary boxer. And he's not just a legendary boxer, he's a very versatile boxer. I don't know if that's been discussed much. I mean, he's a former cruiserweight champion, he's a former middleweight champion, a former super middleweight champion. And then he had some success in the heavyweight division. He defeated uh, guys of uh, the likes of Evander Holyfield. Of course, it was an aging Evander Holyfield, but you know, got to give him credit. That's a big name fighter. So, you know, he's a legend in the sport. Uh, he, you know, he's 41, but um, he still has some success. A lot of fighters do well in the twilight in their career. So, uh, you know, all the respect in the world. The guy is a very, very good, very talented boxer, legendary boxer very good at what he does but guys that's all he does he's a boxer keep that in mind now let's talk about Randy the natural Kotor now I spoke a lot about this legend many times before and he is a very well-rounded fighter he's possibly one of the greatest mixed martial artists of all time I mean just look what this guy does he does everything I mean he specializes of course in the Roman Greco the dirty boxing he's a submission specialist uh, he's also a good striker he's good standing up now we've seen the fight against Tim Sylvia so if you can strike with that guy you know it means you're a good striker I mean he's look at all his fights he even gave uh, Noguera a hard time so he can take on guys that are a lot bigger than he is and he has success so if you take a guy like Kotor and you put him up against Tony, what are you going to see? You know, just imagine if you can see in the future. Look at these guys. Let, let, let's see how this fight goes. And this is the way I see the fight going. You have these two guys. Of course, the fight always starts standing up. They're going to start dancing around a little bit, showing their rhythm, head movements, the whole thing. It starts standing up. Mixed martial arts, what it is, the rules state. Despite whether you agree with it, you like it or not, it starts standing up. Now what's going to happen is, of course, Tony is going to look for an opening, and here's his chance. He has to find an opening. He has to time Kotor's head movements and arm movements, and they've gotten better. Kotor said it himself, and I agree. Despite, you know, that he's in an advanced stage in his career right now, his skills as a boxer have even improved. So he's going to start standing up with this guy at the beginning, and that's where Tony's chance comes. He's got to time Kotor and get in a clean shot. If he can do that, he has a chance to win the fight. That's his chance. Beginning of the fight, first round, when the referee smacks his hands, he's got to find a, sh a time to get in. He's got to find an opening. Now, if he can't, and Kotor rushes him and starts to clinch, then Tony's in trouble because he's going to easily take Tony and just drag him and press him up against the cage. And there's nothing that Tony can do about it. Uh, Couture did it against Brock Lesnar, who's a mess of a man. And he forced Lesnar against that cage, and Lesnar couldn't do anything about it for most of the first round. So if he could do it to Lesnar, he could definitely do it to, uh, what, 215, 217-pound Tony? So, you know, that's the way I see it. And what's interesting about the fight is, that hasn't been mentioned, is will Tony cut weight or will Couture gain weight? Because Couture is currently in the light heavyweight division. That's another important uh, aspect. Who's cutting and who's moving up? Will this be a heavyweight fight or will it be a light heavyweight fight? But even if it is or it isn't, I still see Couture doing the same thing, using the same game plan. If Tony can't find an opening, uh, Randy Couture is going to take this guy, he's going to clinch, he's going to press him up against the cage, stop beating him up, mugging him, throwing elbows in his face. He's going to be throwing those short, dirty boxing punches as he has him in the clinch. Uh, he's going to be throwing knees at him, which is really going to wear him out. 
and that's going to take away his his whole balance and that's what a, a boxer depends on his, his balance and his movements and his footwork and those knees are, are just deadly when he presses you against the cage and throws the knees it's going to be the beginning of the end for Tony he may be able to last a round but in the second round he's just going to be worn out his balance is going to be weakened he's not going to find any more openings against uh, against Randy so uh, the way I see this fight going it's a possibility that Tony can get it but he's got to do it in the first round the beginning of the fight to hit Kotor, if it doesn't knock him out, weaken him, and then he has to just charge him like a mad dog and be on the offensive. If he can't do that, then Kotor is basically going to take him against the cage, dirty boxing, and then soften him up for what's going to come next. Take him to the ground and submit him, maybe rear naked choke, armbar, either way. You know, whatever it is, he's a mixed martial artist. He knows what he has to do on the ground better than anybody. So I'll make a prediction on the fight. I see the fight going maybe around, maybe in the second round. I see Kotor winning by TKO or submission. That's the way I see it. Again, if the fight happens, the rumors are just back and forth. Supposedly Kotor is going to be facing Franklin. It seems that that may not happen and he may face Tony after all. would like to know what you think about this fight. would like to know what you think about the two fighters and all the other fights happening at UFC 118. Please leave your comments, please rate this video, please subscribe, and thank you for tuning in. The fight against Tim Silver, so if you can strike with that guy, you know, it means you're a good striker. I mean, he's, look at all his fights. He even gave uh, Noguera a hard time, so he can take on guys that are a lot bigger than he is, and he has success. So, if you take a guy like Kotor, and you put him up against Tony, what are you going to see? You know, just imagine if you can see in the future. Look at these guys. Let's see how this fight goes, and this is the way I see the fight going. You have these two guys. Of course, the fight always starts standing up. They're going to start dancing around a little bit, showing their rhythm, head movements, the whole thing. It starts standing up. Mixed martial arts, what it is, the rules state. Despite whether you agree with it, you like it or not, it starts standing up. Now, what's going to happen is, of course, Tony is going to look for an opening, and here's his chance. He has to find an opening. He has to time Kotor's head movements and arm movements, and they've gotten better. Kotor's stage, and Lesnar couldn't do anything about it for most of the first round. So, if he could do it to Lesnar, he could definitely do it to, uh, what, 215, 217-pound Tony? So, you know, that's the way I see it. And what's interesting about the fight is, that hasn't been mentioned, is will Tony cut weight or will Couture gain weight because Couture is currently in the light heavyweight division that's another important uh, aspect who's cutting and who's moving up will this be a heavyweight fight or will it be a light heavyweight fight but even if it is or it isn't I still see Couture doing the same thing using the same game plan if Tony can't find an opening uh, Randy Couture is going to take this guy, he's going to clinch, he's going to press him up against the cage, stop beating him up, mugging him, throwing elbows in his face. He's going to be throwing those short, dirty boxing punches as he has him in the clinch. MMA rants and raves, UFC 118. Randy the Natural Couture versus James Tony. Now guys, this is not a definite fight. It's a fight supposedly in the works and it's rumored to happen. Randy the Natural Couture has shown that he is interested in taking this fight and Tony made some kind of comments that he could knock out Couture and he wants to take on Brock Lesnar so his comments of course the way this guy uh, handles himself and the way he talks to the media he wants to face anybody and everybody so if this fight happens let's talk about it let's talk about James Tony for a second there's no question the guy is a legendary boxer and he's not just a legendary boxer, he's a very versatile boxer. I don't know if that's been discussed much. I mean, he's a former cruiserweight champion, he's a former middleweight champion, a former super middleweight champion, and then he had some success in the heavyweight division. He defeated uh, guys of uh, the likes of Vander Holyfield. Of course, it was an aging of Vander Holyfield, but you know, got to give him credit. That's a big name fighter. So, you know, he's a legend in the sport. Uh, he, you know, he's 41, but um, he still has some success. A lot of fighters do well in the twilight in their career, so, uh, you know, all the respect in the world. The guy is a very, very good, very talented boxer, legendary boxer. Very good at what he does. But guys, that's all he does. He's a boxer. Keep that in mind. 
Now let's talk about Randy the Natural Kotor. Now I spoke a lot about this legend many times before and he is a very well-rounded fighter. He's possibly one of the greatest mixed martial artists of all time. I mean, just look what this guy does. He does everything. I mean, he specializes, of course, in the Roman Greco, the dirty boxing. He's a submission specialist. Uh, he's also a good striker. He's good standing up. Now, we've seen that himself, and I agree. Despite, you know, that he's in an advanced stage in his career right now, his skills as a boxer have even improved. So he's going to start standing up with this guy at the beginning, and that's where Tony's chance comes. He's got to time Kotor and get in a clean shot. If he can do that, he has a chance to win the fight. That's his chance. Beginning of the fight, first round, when the referee smacks his hands, he's got to find a, sh a time to get in. He's got to find an opening. Now, if he can't, and Kotor rushes him and starts to clinch, then Tony's in trouble because he's going to easily take Tony and just drag him and press him up against the cage. And there's nothing that Tony can do about it. Uh, Couture did it against Brock Lesnar, who's a mess of a man. And he forced Lesnar against that 